Yeah, uh, this is a table I've been making for probably 20 years now. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the earlier designs that I have that have been fairly consistently successful. Um, it's something that I came up with you know, based on a fairly simple sketch many years ago and have refined it over and over over the years. What I really like about it, it it's very dramatic. It's um, something that's, that looks much more complex than it is in terms of building. Doesn't mean it's not complex in terms of the resources that I need to build it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it takes piles of clamps. Um, it takes a set of fairly serious forms that you have to build to do it. They look really difficult about it, including this joinery, um, where these wings attach to the arch, is surprisingly simple. Um, and yet it looks as refined as any, you know, any joint that you um, come up with. When I started out, I tried um, purchasing veneer and laminating that, but it turns out that it tends to be easier and, and um, quicker for me to just slice uh, the layers that I'm working with out of either eight quarter or 10 quarter cherry. And the glue lines are fairly thin. Mm -hmm. They're murder on tooling. They're, these glue lines are just awful for that, but it just means you have to sharpen. And I do run this over the joiner and run it through my planer. Um, both of which processes look very weird. Kind of looks like you're doing a little hula dance as you feed the... Thing yep. to, yeah, I've done that. It's cool. Um, but yeah, but it works very well. And yes, I have to sharpen the plane. Mm -hmm.